Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the United States, Kamala D. Harris. Good evening. It is my honor to be here, to stand on the shoulders of those who came before, to speak tonight as your Vice President. In many ways, this moment embodies our character and demonstrates who in dark times. We not only dream, we do. We not only see what has been, we see what can be. We shoot for the moon, and then we plant our flag on it. We are bold, fearless, and ambitious. We are undaunted in our belief that we shall overcome, that we will rise up. This is American aspiration. In the middle of the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln saw a better future and built it with land-grant colleges and the Transcontinental Railroad. In the middle of the Civil Rights Movement, Dr. King fought for racial justice and economic justice. American aspiration is what drove the women of this nation throughout history to demand equal rights and the authors of the Bill of Rights to claim freedoms that had rarely been written down before. A great experiment takes great determination, the will to do the work, and then the wisdom to keep refining, keep tinkering, keep perfecting. The same determination is being realized in America today. I see it in the scientists who are transforming the future. I see it in the parents who are nurturing generations to come, in the innovators and the educators, in everyone everywhere who is building a better life for themselves, their families, and their communities. This too is American aspiration. This is what President Joe Biden has called upon us to summon now the courage to see beyond crisis, to do what is hard, to do what is good, to unite, to believe in ourselves, believe in our country, believe in what we can do together. Thank you, and may God bless America. Now it is my honor to introduce the President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden, Jr. participants of tonight's event. It's humbling to stand here in this place in front of these sacred words, humbling out of respect to President Lincoln and the office we now share, and humbling because of you, the American people. As I said earlier today, we have learned again that democracy is precious. And because of you, democracy has prevailed. That's why Jill and I, Kamala and Doug, wanted to make sure our inauguration was not about us, but about you, the American people. This is a great nation. We're a good people. And to overcome the challenges in front of us requires the most elusive of all things in a democracy, unity. It requires us to come together in common love that defines us as Americans. Opportunity, liberty, dignity, and respect. 
and to unite against common foes, hate, violence, disease, and hopelessness. America's story depends not on any one of us, not on some of us, but on all of us, on we the people. That's the task before us. The only way we'll get through the darkness around us. There are moments in our history when more is asked of us as Americans. We saw that in the Civil War. We saw that with Dr. King dreaming from these steps across the mall. We are in one of those moments now. The pandemic, economic crisis, racial injustice, the climate crisis, and threats to our very democracy. And the question is, are we up to it? Will we meet the moment like our forebears have? I believe we must, and I believe we will. You, the American people, are the reason why. I've never been more optimistic about America than I am this very day. There isn't anything we can't do if we do it together. And that's what you'll see tonight. Stories of ordinary Americans who do extraordinary things. That's how we'll celebrate America and respect and represent America in our time in office. America, America built of decency. It's built of decency and dignity, of love and healing, of greatness and goodness, of possibilities. This is a story that guides us, inspires us, and unites us today and always. So thank you for this honor. I will give my all to you. May God bless America and may God protect our troops.